go money talks hey everyone and welcome to the channel so today i want to take a look at some cryptocurrencies and i really wanted to make this video just because of all the things that have happened recently with crypto we can talk about the sam bankman freed situation or a couple of the companies that have gone under in the last year or so so that's really what prompted this video so before we go ahead and get into it please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so so much it really does help out so let's get right into this and i think that this is is a very powerful title here for this article from Seeking Alpha from just a couple weeks ago in December, in mid-December of 2022. And it says almost 40% of cryptos listed on CoinGecko in 2021 are now dead coins. So this is an extreme warning about investing in crap, essentially investing in quote unquote dead coins. So let's take a look. So there were more than 8,000 cryptocurrencies listed on pricing site CoinGecko during the 2021 bull market. And over 3,300 of them, or nearly 40%, have been deactivated and delisted amid one of the worst downturns the industry has ever seen. That's 2.5 times higher than the amount of tokens listed in 2020. It seems like there were a lot of people out there looking to take advantage of other people in this bull market. And a lot of them won. A lot of them got away with a lot of money and stole from good, honest, hardworking people thinking that they had a chance to improve their life with investment in, in a coin. So that's 2.5 times higher than the amount of tokens listed in 2020 that ended up failing or dead coins and 3.5 times higher than the year to date figure. So many projects, tokens, coins with little to no value or any immediate or discernible purpose were launched by various anonymous developers. So this is the key word here in this line, anonymous. Let's create a coin and you're going to back it and say to the world, it's going to solve one of the biggest problems in the world and you're going to promote your coin and throw it out there. Why, why do these people have to be anonymous? I know that's the big thing with cryptocurrency is that anonymous factor, but if you're creating a coin and you're trying to sell it and get investment for that coin, shouldn't you be accountable for that? You know, if, if you're trying to get money from big corporations and just from big corporations all the way down to the common hardworking person, I think that you should be aware and accountable for the product that you're putting out there, for the coin, for the crypto, whatever that situation looks like. And this is exactly why, because few were actually committed to their projects, which resulted in a high rate of failure and their ultimate demise. And this means that there are a lot of people out there just throwing up some random fake coin. And one of the ones that I saw was the Squid Game token. And this seemed like somebody took advantage because Squid Game was hot on Netflix. They took advantage, created a Squid Game token, put it out there. A bunch of people thought, oh, maybe this is produced by Netflix. Maybe this is some sort of an, you know, uh, NFT type of thing, like these Squid Game tokens and, and all this other stuff. And it creates this kind of confusion. But people know, oh, Squid Game was hot. This may be a good investment. You know, maybe there will be more seasons in the future. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe it's an okay investment. They buy a couple coins and then... The next day, that is completely gone. Somebody, some scam artist walked away with millions and millions of dollars. So that's that's the whole point I'm trying to make here is there's no accountability for these scammers trying to get money from people. Now, on the flip side of that, if you're thinking about a coin that is not established, that is a trend that has an anonymous creator, you know, you have to take some accountability for yourself as well and do more research, do your due diligence and not invest in crap. Now, there are a lot of situations that look promising and a lot of very rich, powerful corporations have been fooled. So it is still possible. But I'm just saying there has to be accountability on both sides. And there are a lot of people out there trying to scam and get money. So let's continue on here. The global crypto market stood at only 866 billion at peaking around 3 trillion in November of 2021. So obviously a lot of money was pouring into crypto. The sharp decline in the value of cryptos in a short period of time doesn't necessarily reflect any fundamental or structural change to the blockchain ecosystem took effect, just as the stock market's performance doesn't always reflect the health of the economy. Bitcoin, which is seen as a key gauge for the cryptoverse and broader risk tolerance, changed hands at $18.8 thousand dollars as of Wednesday afternoon. And again, this was a couple weeks ago from when I'm making this video from when this article was written. 
and this was down substantially from its November 2021 all-time high of almost $69,000, and that's more than a 70% peak drop, and many other tokens mirrored this volatile path. Based on CoinGecko's methodology, cryptos may be taken off the site due to a shortage in trading activity within the last two months. So again, if the coin is dead, there's limited trading going on with it, then it may be a scam. They're getting rid of it. And again, if it is a scam, it might be deactivated if they can prove that. But again, sometimes it is hard to do that. Excluding the anomaly of the year 2021, an average of 947 cryptos are dead and end up failing in the last five years. So these projects will fail. And again, these are for various reasons. But the CEO of Liquid Mercury cited previous crypto market cycles where an outside number of projects launched tokens that ended up failing after a frenzy fueled bull run. This pattern played out during the last cycle when many projects rode the tailwind of a strong bull market in 2017, creating the surge in altcoins and many of those dropped to zero in 2018 and 2019. So we have seen some of these cycles before. So it's not necessarily super uncommon for these projects to fail, but it is uncommon to see numerous, numerous companies and coins just go poof into thin air. And this is the biggest thing. You have to have substance. You have to have a team. And these are the chan these are the ingredients that you need to be successful if you are trying to actually do something positive and not just scan people. So the point I want to make here is, and this is a general investing rule, do your due diligence, know what you're investing in to the best of your ability, and this will help limit some of these catastrophes where people are losing a lot of money because of scam artists. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Make sure these projects have substance and recognize that if you are investing in things like all coins they are very very risky and very very volatile more so than your common stock and your common company that is on the s p 500 so i wanted to make this video to serve as kind of a warning and a heads up and just remind people really understand what you're investing in do your due diligence and this will give yourself the best possible chance to be successful in any investment that you make so thank you so much for joining us today don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video here comes the money here we go, money talks.